Hey guys, so today I'm doing my sample Sunday or hashtag 365 days of samples. If you haven't seen these before, I have done this for a little over a year and a half, two years now. It was started by LS, so I will link my playlist and her channel down below. But let's get started with the items that I was able to use up this week. So for a majority of these items that was like actually in the project for this week, I don't know what happened, but I didn't really reach for my samples this week. But I was able to use up one of the samples that I was previously working on, and that was the Josie Marin Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. Now, I used this as my facial moisturizer this morning all over my face. I even applied it down my neck and a little bit on my decollete. I really like this stuff. It is definitely a nice moisturizing um it's kind of like a liquid serum. I think like it comes with a dropper tube, how this little packaging makes it look. Um, it did absorb very nicely into my skin. It kind of felt like um, putting on a face sunscreen, like a really lightweight face sunscreen. I don't think this has any sunscreen in it, however, but that's kind of what it felt like on my skin. I don't think I will be repurchasing or purchasing a full size of this, but I did enjoy using this little sample. But I don't think I will be purchasing it. Then I have two hair care samples here from the same brand. This is Juice Organics Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I did receive these for free through Juice Organics. They had something going on on Instagram. They gave me a bunch of these little samples. I think they gave me like three. Um, I've already used up one and then uh, these are the other ones. They're nice. I definitely like the repairing ones. Uh, the pomegranate and the coconut over the, which one is this? apple or plum. Not 100% sure, but yeah, these were not my favorite from their lines. I won't be purchasing. And then uh, the last thing here is a body scrub. This is from Zabana Essentials, and it's like really sticky. But this is a body scrub that I got from Petite Boar. Um, it definitely is a salt body scrub. It's not as like moisturizing and has like the scrubs stick together, if that makes sense. This kind of just felt like I was taking salt, sugar, like sugar and salt, and just kind of trying to put it all over my body. I found that it crumbed off or it would fall off before I could even apply it to my legs. Like it would just fall onto the bathroom floor or the shower floor, things like that. So it was kind of difficult to use. I really like the scent of this though. It says the scent is coconut, but all I could smell was the cocoa powder, like the chocolate scent. Um, it says it has sugar, dead sea salt, natural exfoliant, all aloe gel, vegetable glycerin, coconut oil, grape seed oil, olive oil, coconut extract, coconut shell powder, cocoa powder, and then vitamin E. So I smelt pretty much the only thing that I could smell was the cocoa powder and that was the second to last ingredient which means it has the least amount. But yeah, I won't be purchasing this. I like my um, scrubs to be a little bit more gel with some scrubby in it. Um, this was just very difficult to use in the shower. So moving on to the samples I am still working on. Still working on that powder, of course. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. It's supposed to make your pores disappear. I haven't noticed in making my pores disappear more than a different powder. I have noticed, however, that this gives my face kind of a white cast. Um, I'm not a big fan of the white cast. Honestly, I kind of have to use a lot more bronzer to kind of give my face more life after using this to apply it over um, foundation. But I will continue to use this. It is a powder and yeah, so still haven't hit pan. You can definitely start seeing the rims. So let's see how much product you actually get in this. I don't think it says how much product, or maybe it said on that little card that I ripped off of it and threw away. But yeah, I am still working on this. I don't think it really vanishes your pores or anything like that. Then I am still using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Really haven't reached for this that often because I really have been using um, like BB cream kind of stuff, but you can see that's where I was last week. And that is where I am now, so still working on that. The 
face scrub I've been using is the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Daily Facial Scrub. And I really have been enjoying this. I use this pretty much on a consistent daily basis. I started right here and now I'm down to there. I am totally going to purchase or purchase a full size of this. I purchased this little deluxe sample from Target. They have it sometimes at the end caps in the beauty section if you guys are interested. But I really like this stuff. It says 98% natural ingredients. It just smells good and feels good. It's um, a scrub that has that gel so it's easy to apply and use and I really like this stuff. So I'm going to definitely work on finishing this up next week. Shouldn't be a problem but it takes off my makeup great and I was peeling from being sunburned all over my forehead. This did a great job at scrubbing those little dead skin cells away, so really like this stuff. Next I have from Laura Mercier, this is the Tinted Moisturizer Broad, Spectr Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. So this is the product and it says I'm right about there. So I've been using this on a pretty consistent basis this, not month, week, and I am wearing it today. I really like this stuff. Nude is a great color for me. Um, it's not a very tinted, tinted moisturizer or foundation, anything like that. It's definitely a very light, sheer color, but um, I do really like it. It smooths out my skin, any imperfections, impurities. It kind of helps blend the skin together without like making my red spots and stuff all jump out. Like y'all know what I'm saying, but. I really like this stuff. I will continue to use, but I won't be purchasing just due to their cruelty-free status. Then I have from a Little Barn Apothecary. This is the Blue Yarrow and Geranium Cleansing Oil. So honestly, I pulled this, what, last week? And I stared at it and stared at it every morning to wash my face, or at night to wash my face, and I would always pull for this Yes to Grapefruit. This just made me nervous using an oil on my face for cleansing. I was able to use it a little bit. You guys can see right there. There's a small amount of difference. I am probably going to take this out of this challenge and use this whenever I feel like. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of the cleansing oil for your face. I definitely like more like of a gel. This is just kind of different. I am going to continue to play with this, but on my own time, not in... A weekly challenge like this so still on the fence about this one then moving on to the samples I did not touch this week for some weird reason didn't touch the pharmacy sleep tight firming a night balm I don't know I don't know should be able to finish that up next I mean this next week if I think about it didn't touch the benefit professional face primer didn't touch the urban decay pore perfecting complexion primer potion and I didn't mask, so I didn't use the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. So I get to pull two new samples because I used up one and I am just going to take that cleansing oil out. So here is the sample bin and we're just going to draw two new ones. So I have one and two. So one is from Brio Geo. This is the Rosarco Repair Shampoo. And then the last one is from a Drunk Elephant. This is the TLC Sakura Baby Facial Resurface and Reveal. So hey guys, I'm actually going to switch out the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial that contains AHA and BHA. I'm actually going to switch that out with my Josie Marin whipped argan oil face butter for this week. I'm just not a big fan of BHA products. I'm going to give this to one of my family members to try. So switching that out and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!